came from a family background in military. My grandfather was in the Battle of the Pacific, World War II. I had an uncle that was in World War II as well, and he was always a big influence telling me stories. Uh, he went on to receive the Gold Star uh, Distinguished Flying Cross. My father was a uh, Groundwater Navy Vietnam, two tours. So uh, I kind of grew up with the expectation to carry the tradition. So two days after high school, I was off uh, Paris Island uh, Marine Corps boot camp. Uh, three days after 9-11 happened, we ended up uh, being in Africa for uh, a routine training. It was called Operation Bright Star. We ended up using that sort of as a, a staging point to go into Afghanistan, and tensions were very high. I ended up receiving uh, my first TBI on a foot patrol. I was hit in the head with the end of a rifle and knocked out. I was uh, throwing up, dizzy. I actually was uh, passing blood in my, my stool for a little bit, and uh, they chalked it up to just suck it up, kind of move on, you're fine. I ended up serving in Iraq in 2003 to four, four to five and five to six. Um, so I had a lot of blast exposure and I uh, had some back injuries from uh, jumping off a seven ton when we had incoming and then went to jump into a building, had a, uh, something detonate very close. It was a, a mortar. So I had a bunch of things like that that just continually happened after every tour, every tour. And it just accumulated to really combine me having um, a lot of orthopedic issues and a lot of mental issues. And I tried to pretend that I was normal, but I was suffering deeply. I had two uh, unsuccessful relationships, marriages, uh, could not maintain healthy relationships with my family. Um, um, employment was very difficult. I couldn't do it. Under pressure, I would begin stuttering and it was very difficult for me to hold a conversation or make eye contact. I couldn't go to a dinner with any friends or family without putting my back to a corner, watching my surroundings, continuously just being not in myself. I was very, uh, I felt like I was living in a nightmare in someone else's body and just literally down to the last bit of effort I had to live, I signed up and I came. Immediately I was met and surrounded by veterans that would say, oh, hey, you're having that issue? This is what I use to do that. Oh, the sunlight bothers you? Have you tried UV glasses? Just being around guys that are going through or have been through what, what you, you're going through, it's, that's where I had the biggest success is because I felt that I wasn't just alone going through my own issue, but it's very normal. Definitely a form of therapy for me that I've continued to do as a way if I start to feel that I'm ramping up, a way that I can come back down is by doing art. And I learned that doing the uh, recreational therapy here at Share is we go in there and they say, what do you want to do? Uh, I'd play guitar and do art. And I've continued to do that ever since leaving. A big uh, aspect of my therapy was uh, like the speech pathology. I had a very big issue trying to contain myself when I would speak to people, I would freeze up. It eases you into it. Next thing you know, you're doing things that you didn't think you could do, like sitting in a football stadium surrounded by thousands of people. And yes, you're gonna have the same feelings. And I still had the same feelings of anxiety and a lot of the PTSD symptoms were coming out. But I had all these tools that I had been learning at the program that if I followed, I was able to be successful and manage uh, that experience. Right before I graduated, uh, my incline goal was to be a successful speaker. So uh, as a test, kind of a hands-on um, application of that, we had the George Bush Institute happen to be in town touring the facility, and I was able to uh, give a speech to them about my story. It turned out wonderful, and after that, I ended up feeling that I could talk to people, and so talking to someone at the gas station was not a scary issue. Before Cher, not only was I struggling in all my relationships, but the most important relationship, which was with my son, I would say I was a good father, but I wasn't the father that I wanted to be in which um, coming to share and learning all the tools that, that I have gained, I've been able to be very patient and our relationship is very close now. It's, it's given me a new life. For anyone that's suffering, you're not alone. I felt that I was alone for many years, um, but that's the farthest thing from the truth. What you're going through is very similar to what a lot of people are going through. All you have to do is reach your hand out and just get out of that hole. And when you do, look behind you and, and show how you did it to get the next guy out.